One such application is in science in calculating the time it takes for half of the unstable material in a sample of a radioactive substance to decay, called its half-life. Now, Table 1 lists the half-life for several of the more common radioactive substances. So you may see this in your homework or uh, uh, an assignment. Now, you can see here that here's the substances in this column. What is the use for nuclear medicine manufacturing? Um, and then we have the half-life. So here's the half-life for, for those particular substances. Now, we can see how widely the half-lives for these substances vary. Knowing the half-life of a substance allows us to calculate the amount remaining after a specified time, and we can use the formula for radioactive decay. So here for gallium, you have 80 hours for half-life. At uranium, you can see that it's 703,800,000 years. So here is our function. So we can use either one of these formulas, but my suggestion is to use the first one where a subscript zero is the total amount is the amount initially present so that is the initial amount t is the half-life of the substance which would be from this third column lowercase t is the time period over which the substance is studied and then y is the amount of substance present after time t so for example 13 we're going to use the formula for radioactive decay to find the quantity of a substance. So now the formula that we're gonna use is this first one at the top here. So we have A of T, which is equal to the initial amount E times a natural log of 0 0.5 divided by T, capital T, which is the half-life of the substance, times T, which is the time period over which the substance is studied. So the question is asking us, okay, how long will it take for 10% of a 1,000 gram sample of uranium-235 to decay. Well, we can see here that the sample is a 1,000 gram. And so we wanna know how much is it gonna be decaying. So that's gonna be the initial amount. That's how much is it starts with, okay? And so then we're looking at uranium-235. So we need to look at that table, okay, and the the, the half-life of that substance is 703,800,000 years. So we know that that represents the value of capital T. And then we know that we're looking for T. But we also know that how long will it take for 10% of that 1,000 gram sample? So we need to fight, figure out after 10%, we need to know why there's 900 grams that are left. Well, in step number two, that's gonna be A of T because that's how much is left. Well, that's 10% of 1,000. Well, 10% of 1,000 is the same thing as 0.10 times 1,000, which gives you 900. And so now, using that formula, we can now fill everything in to solve for the variable T because our goal is, can we find out what is the information that's given? And most formulas are always going to give you uh, all the variables and solve for one. Sometimes you may have two, but in this scenario, you're going to be given all the information here. Now, now we're going to plug in our information. So we have A of T, which is 900. We know the initial amount is 1,000. We know that we have the natural log of 0 0.5 from the formula divided by the half-life of that substance which is 703,800,000 times T. Now, we're just gonna solve like we've done in our previous examples. So we wanna isolate the base that has the variable T because that's what we're looking for. In order to do that, we're gonna divide by 1,000. So 900 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.9. And now, we wanna be able to get this variable out so we can solve for it. So in order to do that, we're gonna take the natural log of both sides. So now we're going to take the natural log of 0 0.9 and the natural log of this uh, e to the natural log of 0 0.5 divided by 703,800,000 t. So we get the natural log of 0 0.9. And recall here that this just becomes, since we have e and the base of e, 
This becomes a natural log of 0 0.5 divided by 703,800, 703,800,000 T. And then we're going to solve for T. So we're going to multiply both sides by the denominator. So we have 703,800,000 times a natural log of 0 0.9, which is equal to the natural log of 0 0.5 T. And so then we're going to divide both sides by the natural log of 0 0.5. And then we can approximate this, plugging this two into our calculator. So if we take 703,800,000, multiply that by the natural log of 0.9, and then we can divide that by the natural log of 0.5, which gives us approximately 106,979,777 years. So the analysis is that 10% of 1,000 grams is 100 grams. And if 100 grams decay, the amount of uranium-235 remaining is 900 grams.